Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer. Cancer, this is your weekly general reading. This is for the 20th through the 26th of April, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Also keep in mind, my grandchildren are downstairs playing, having fun. So you're going to hear them most likely in the background. Just know that they are safe and they are fine. And another thing, you guys, Gizzy is teething. So you may hear her. Um, she kind of has fits off and on. Bless her little heart. I wish she'd hurry up and cut these teeth. Oh, her mama's little baby. She's, she's taking her a little nap right now. Cancer. All right, Cancer. Let's see what messages we have for you. What energies we have for you this week. Cancer. All right. We are ready. So we have the energy coming up here. Choose your battles. Okay. All right, Cancer. All right, Spirit, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Cancer need to know this week? 20th through the 26th. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're ready current situation we've got the king of swords in your foundation we have the five of cups recent past energy there you are cancer the chariot crowning you is the moon your new circumstance is the hermit in the position of what you need to know, we have the Two of Swords. Your outcome energy, beautiful. The Sun. All right, Cancer. Give me just a moment. So we have the number seven coming up here twice. So we have the number 77. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. I definitely see here, Cancer, there's a situation here that involves others for, for some of you. Now, this message in particular isn't going to be for all of you. There's several different messages that I'm getting. Always remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Now, choose your battles. I definitely see a disagreement, maybe even arguments due to a decision that has to be made here. Okay? But you know what, Cancer? I see you making a fair decision, an honest decision, especially with the King of Swords coming up here as the current situation. Okay? You guys are definitely going to have to leave me a comment and let me know what this is about. This could have to do with your family, your children. This could be your husband or your wife, you know, having a disagreement on maybe a decision. This could be career related as well. But you know what? What I'm getting from this is that it's going to be very important, Cancer, for you to stand up for what your belief is, okay? You know, it, it's I, I'm getting the energy of not backing down, okay? So I definitely see you uh, standing up and speaking your truth, standing in your power, not backing down. And I feel for whoever this message is for, that's what's needed in this situation. Okay? And, you know, you are being very fair about it. Okay? Whatever this has to do with. Especially with you 
embodying this energy of the, the King of Swords here is your current situation, whether you're male or female, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You know, this is you holding that sword of truth right here in clarity. All right? And this is you communicating your truth. You know, I'm getting that Queen of Swords energy as well where, you know, you're tired of hearing it. Um, you know, I feel like it's time for you to stand up for yourself, what your truth is, okay? You know, I feel for some of you, you've been in a situation where, you know, it, it always goes the other person's way. And now you're at the point here. It's like, wait a minute. You're going to have to meet me halfway. Or no go, no deal. But you're being balanced. You're being fair. Okay? You're doing what's right and what's just for you right now at this time. And that's important. And it's important for you to do that for yourself. Okay? For some of you, this could be a career opportunity. It could be something you really want. And maybe your significant other isn't agreeing. Maybe your children are agreeing. Maybe this involves a move. You know, and I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm always honest with you guys. You know, you're here to live your unique destiny. Not anybody else's. Not your husband's. Not your wife's. Not your kids. Not your mother's. Not your father's. Yours. Okay? Very interesting. Cancer, you're going to have to leave me a comment. Let me know. All right, so we have the Five of Cups in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week, and I like this, Cancer. You know, this has already happened, okay? This could have been a loss of a job, business, career. This talks about loss and, and disappointment right here. I'm getting tongue twisted. <laughs> Bear with me. Bless my heart. All right, you're doing spiritual alchemy right here, the inner work, the great work, because you know what you're doing right here, Cancer. You know, you know what this loss was, whatever this disappointment was, but you're not allowing it to define who you are right here, right now, at this moment, okay? You're choosing to see the opportunities that are still available to you, and you're acting on them. This is you taking challenges or maybe a situation that feels very negative and transmuting it into something positive and powerful. In your recent past, here you are, Cancer, the chariot. You know, you're still feeling this energy because it's showing up in your reading. This talks about moving forward, okay? You know, for some of you, with this choose your battles, you know, this may have already happened where you've stood your ground, okay? Because this talks about triumphant over adversity right here. This talks about you standing in your power, grabbing a hold of the reins, and you being in the driver's seat, you taking back power and control over your situation, your life, not backing down. Most importantly, this talks about Whatever you've dealt with when it comes to loss and disappointments, okay? You're coming out of that. And I just feel like even in the present right now, if, if this has already happened, you may still have people that want to be argumentative or disagree with you. But I definitely see where you have, you know, taken a stand for yourself. And that's beautiful. You know, Cancer, you deserve to have what you want. You deserve to be happy. And, the, you know, the chariot represents what you're going after and what you're taking action on right here involves your happiness. And most importantly, you know exactly where you're going when you get this energy. You have foresight.
Now, I have a message coming in here through my guide. This is going to be for one of you. I feel like, okay, give me just a moment. You've lost a car in your recent past. This is for one of you. Okay, this was a, a huge loss. Uh, this could have been you couldn't make your car payment. Um, you know, I'm getting an accident as well. Nothing bad, okay? It's already happened, but... You know, for one or two of you, you've lost your car, your vehicle, okay? Your means of transportation in your recent past. And for one of you, I, I feel like this involves a kid of driving age here, okay? And maybe they wrecked it, all right? They didn't get hurt, but it, it messed it up. And I, I feel like it's either in the shop or everything's been put on hold and... You can't get it fixed right now, okay? All right, that's that's for two of you. You guys definitely, please let me know if that message is for you because I, I love to get confirmation myself from, you know, what my guides tell me. That's very interesting. So you have the moon coming up here in your crowning position. This is the energy of Pisces. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. Cancer, this is you, you know, really listening to your intuition, your own inner guidance. This is you knowing that you are divinely guided, okay? Many of you are really in tune, tapped into that psychic flow of energy, okay, within you. You're paying attention to your dream, signs, symbolism, synchronicities as well. Some of you could be dream journaling. You could be automatic writing, any type of divination here. And spirit wants you to know it's important that you trust in uh, your intuition, okay? I feel for a handful of you, you've been doubting or second guessing, okay, something. And spirit wants you to know you're right, okay? You are right. Now, for a few of you, something has recently that has come to light here that was hidden, okay? Uh, there could have been a truth that was discovered. Could definitely have to do with this choose your battles or disagreements and arguments, okay? But you have the clarity that you need. And I want you to know right off the get-go here, okay? Spirit wants you to know if you are in... A situation where you've been having some disagreements some family troubles it's that type of energy everything's gonna work out okay um, I, I'm getting this uh, energy here of people need a, a, a time to calm down okay where emotions aren't running high and with whatever this situation has to do with all right and you know, Cancer, I see you grounding yourself. And, you know, as your new circumstance, you're, you're going into hermit mode right here, the energy of Virgo. You know, and this is where you're going to find that, that peace and patience with yourself as well as with whoever this situation it, it deals with right here. And I definitely get this being a family situation. You know, the hermit talks about going within and this is where spiritual enlightenment is gained and this is where you know you're listening to your own inner guidance you're you're allowing yourself to listen to your intuition especially when we're talking about figuring out which direction maybe you want to go in or maybe which door you're wanting to walk through or path you're wanting to go down okay this could be you finding a solution to uh, the situation right here, okay? Finding the answers within. Because I definitely see right here where you're at a crossroads. 
and I, I don't feel like you're at a crossroads here with this Two of Swords because you don't know the answer because I definitely get this energy that you already know the answer here. I feel like you're going into hermit mode here maybe to find the right words or you know the best solution okay maybe how to handle this situation really without causing more conflict or, or possibly hurting someone else's feelings very interesting you know and spirit says once you go ahead and you put your foot down i feel like cancer and you make this decision now for some of you you definitely this could be career related um, it's we're definitely talking about you standing up here and I, I for yourself and what what's going on in this situation I definitely feel that you have the upper hand here and whatever this has to do with with each of you it's gonna be something different okay just know that once you go ahead and speak your truth all right everybody's going to follow in suit okay and it's going to allow for you to break free from this energy right here. Because you have this beautiful, amazing outcome energy, the sun, the energy of Leo right here. And this talks about, you know, creativity. This talks about moving forward successfully, okay? You know, again, we're talking about clarity and truth, all right? Once you speak your truth about whatever this situation is okay you're gonna break free and you're gonna be able to move in the direction that it is that you're wanting to move in and most importantly keep in mind here cancer you know exactly what you want and you have the clarity here that you need okay you've had it in your recent past okay and you have it now but it's up to you to I feel like stand up for you and not back down okay like I said you're here to live your life not anybody else's very interesting definitely getting a family situation here now don't get me wrong for a few of you this could be a work related situation as well there's a lot going on here so you guys are definitely going to have to leave me a comment and let me know. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Cancer. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear. Through the eyes of the teacher of love. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive. And the power I need when I am lost. All right, Cancer, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on here, okay? I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.